you may want to stay standing for this one. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 songs that make you want to jump. For this list, we're focusing on lively musical productions that make you want to bounce, and for criteria purposes, they all must have jump in the title. Number 10, Jump in the Fire, Metallica. Building on the sound set forth by Iron Maiden, a Bay Area band thrashed out in 1983 by creating a classic that's perfectly capable of making you trounce around like a madman or mad woman. Jump in the Fire! Jump in the Fire was actually co-written by Dave Mustaine, the would-be frontman for Megadeth, and while it's lyrically repetitive at times, the overall musical aesthetic is perfect for the gym and or displaying your most thrashing air guitar. This song isn't pronounced Jump in the Fire, no. It's pronounced Jump in the Fire! Jump in the fire yeah! Number 9, Jumpin' Jumpin', Destiny's Child. And now you fellas leave your girl with her friends, cause it's 11.30 and the clip is jumpin', jumpin'. From devilish demons of rock to a group of glorious angels from R&B heaven. Back in the late 1990s, Beyonce had yet to completely take over the solo charts, but she and her squad had people moving and grooving, large in part to this dynamic single from their sophomore release. For the most part, Jumpin' Jumpin' keeps you bobbing from left to right, but once the chorus drops, well then you're on the tips of your toes and probably throwing one single hand in the air. That's because DC knows how to make us bounce, shake and twist that thing. Number eight, jump into the fire, Harry Nilsson. While the late Mr. Nilsson wasn't exactly a master of the album title, considering this track came from a release called Nilsson Schmilsson, he did in fact know how to make people jump, evidenced by the funky Jump Into The Fire. The song essentially set off a collective party upon release, as it's just got that gritty aesthetic, one that makes your face contort as your legs flail away into an all-out unadulterated jig. It's your different kind of jump song, both bizarre and poignant at the same time. Number 7, Tsunami, Jump, Dubs and Borges featuring Tiny Tempa. Stuck in the days, I feel like I'm riding away. As a modern Canadian-American-British collaboration, this is the track that makes ravers let loose at music festivals as they shake about and jump maniacally as only ravers can. Yeah. Tsunami is a legitimate party starter, an electro jolt to the senses, complemented by the lyrical spitting from the one and only Tiny Tempa. Time to be special. I be loving the rush of the blood in my vessels. I feel like a rebel. I got silver and gold. I don't need a medal. Did you identify Dubs and Borges in public? No, probably not. But you damn well know a good jumping song when you hear one such as this. Tsunami. Yeah. Number six, Jump, Jive, and Whale. Louis Prima, the Brian Setzer Orchestra. Baby, baby, it looks like it's gonna hail. In the mid 1950s, one didn't simply jump around in public, mainly because such antics weren't the accepted norm in a pre Elvis world. So just imagine when old Louis Prima came along and made Daddy's sweet little princess gyrate her hips and do the unthinkable jump while dancing to music. Mama's in the backyard learning how to drive and wheel. The track saw a resurgence in popularity throughout the late 1990s when it was featured in a Gap advertising campaign, but the song reached a new peak when the Brian Setzer Orchestra took home a Grammy for their cover in 1999. Surely a pivotal moment in the history of jump songs. Number 5. 
Number 5. Jumpin' Jack Flash – The Rolling Stones As seen in numerous films, ranging from Martin Scorsese's Mean Streets to Terry Gilliam's Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, it's clearly evident that folks love them some Jumpin' Jack Flash. Uzi musical aesthetic infuses the track with pure grit, and with the addition of Mick Jagger's snarling vocals, well, the result creates an infectious feeling that just makes one want to jump. It's a landmark track of the rock and roll genre, and it's immediately identifiable if you're an old school hippie or a millennial classic rock enthusiast. Number 4. Jump For My Love – The Pointer Sisters Feel that drum machine and respect the synth. This is one fine example of a potent 80s pop song that could not only uplift the spirits, but actually lift one off the ground thanks to the power of the Pointer Sisters. It's just a bit more top 40 friendly than something like Jumping Jack Flash, and even the slower section towards the end still has that undeniable edge that keeps the body working. Originally titled Jump, the final three words of the title were added to distinguish it from a certain other Jump song released around the same time. Number 3. Jump, Van Halen. Released just a few months before the Pointer Sisters production, this rock song is what you might call a classic of the genre. In fact, Jump is so inherently sublime that it's become a staple of sporting hype songs all over the globe. Just look at David Lee Roth in the music video and tell us that he doesn't know exactly what's on our minds. It's just a beautiful, slow buildup of emotion that fuels the soul while stretching the soles of your sneakers. Oh, and then comes that solo and even more synthesizer. Number 2. Jump. Crisscross. Mac Daddy and the Daddy Mac. While one can never tell who will transcend the label of one hit wonder, one surely knows the driving force of this iconic hip hop classic. Cause inside out, it's wiggin' a wiggin' a wiggin' a whack. I come stoppin' with something pumpin' to keep you jumpin'. R&B, rappers will crap is what I'm jumpin'. Although it reminds us that yes, backwards clothing was a thing, Jump is more than just your typical novelty song with a catchy hook. It's a supremely produced track by noted producer Jermaine Dupri. And like you know, don't be claiming that it's mental. To the kids with a flow, you ain't never heard. Ain't nothing fake, you can understand every word. And hey, how many teenagers do you know that can rhyme like this? All in all, Criss Cross came through with Jump, which still has us totally crossed out wherever the joint blasts through the speakers. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Jump in, jump in, jump in, them boys up to something. Number 1. Jump Around – House of Pain Years before Everlast told us what it's like to have the blues, he showed us how to set it off with a musical assault on every jump song that had come before and that would come after. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. I 
With its unmistakable opening horn and perpetual squeal, the best part of Jump Around has to be the lyrical style of Everlast and the subsequent chorus that takes it to the next level, as seen in the 1993 flick, Mrs. Doubtfire. Brenda! What's up? Your home early, girlfriend. Regardless of your familiarity with hip-hop as a whole, it only takes one listen to recognize that Jump Around is undeniably the most powerful jump song ever recorded. So, do you agree with our selections? What song makes you want to jump? For more exuberant Top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.